one of the key items for this month was actually about King Square, but probably something a bit different about King Square. It wasn't about the buildings this time, it was actually about the public realm. So King Square, of course, is not just about the commercial buildings and the and the new civic centre, uh, but also actually about the public spaces around that. So we've been looking at some new paving that will run up Newman uh, Newman Court and back back down High Street, which council signed off on. In fact, you can check out that paving uh, in, in King Square. Looking at that, new playground equipment and, and the like, and um, really that next stage, because when we open up the new library and civic centre, we run all these great new public spaces to feel like it's given the real city a refresh. So uh, great to see that going to the next stage. Arthur's Head and, and the Roundhouse are undoubtedly uh, heritage buildings and places that are not only of local significance, but state and national significance. Be fair to say the ravages of time on this building, uh, built in 1831, Western Australia's oldest public building is starting to take its toll on both that building and, on, on, and also on, on the cliffs. And um, we got a report that suggests that we need to do about $1.8 million worth of works to, to, to look after those and make sure that they can remain open and a place that people can visit from not just all around the world, but also locals as well. So um, council received that report and now we've got that information. We'll We'll be going to the state and federal government and seeking to work in partnership with them and how we can stabilise the cliffs um, and, and the roundhouse and make sure it stays open for at least another 200 years. Received a report about a, a, an Aboriginal cultural centre, one again that's not just a, um, a local centre but actually one that will be of, of state significance and after engaging uh, with our local Aboriginal community on, on this and, and others, um, we um, received a report that actually suggested that interesting where the Jay Shed is just below Arthur's Head was potentially a really good location for that. And one of the reasons for that is, is actually that's a really important historical point of our first, first connection, obviously when Fremantle was, uh, and Perth was first, uh, for, for first established, that was where the, the flag was painted, the first contact um, in that area as well. But also it could be actually a point of reconciliation, actually acknowledging that that, that point um, and, and actually seeing that as part of the healing process. So council was really keen to once again progress that, see, um, and, and we will actually commit a major, about $50,000 in the budget next year um, to a more detailed plan around that again, so we can work with the state and federal government to actually finally get a major Aboriginal cultural centre um, in this part of the world.